So on this episode of The World's Dumbest Criminals, Krishan Rock sends a public threat to Tamar Braxton. <laughs> Girl, let's talk about it, baby. Because this is a big deal! <laughs> let's go. Oh, shit. Here we go again. Welcome back. <laughs> How y'all doing, baby? My name is Big Mouth and this is my channel. If you have not been here before, baby, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe for me. Subscribe for me, baby. Let me see your grill. <laughs> and turn on my post notifications and make sure y'all have on all notifications so you can be alerted when I upload a new video, girl. Because y'all want to miss out, all right? And make sure y'all follow me over to Tag Baby because I'm going live tonight on Tag Baby. We about to turn up, okay? 18 and up only. Actually, I'm sorry, 21 and up only. Thank you. All right. So, baby, let's talk about this. Krishan, <laughs> Krishan, Krishan, Krishan. Look, y'all, I am really trying with this girl. I promise y'all, I am trying my best to give advice on this channel. I know she watched these videos, girl. I know people sending her my videos. I know they've been sending them to her for months. So I'm just trying my best, girl. I don't know where, where we going wrong with this girl. Everybody in the world then tried to help this girl. I just think it's beyond us. It's, a, it's, it's, it's beyond me now. So if y'all don't know what happened, girl... D-Day. We this is D-Day. Okay. This is some we are in uncharted territories, uncharted waters. This is some shit. I ain't got no compass. Baby, we on the Titanic and we sinking fast. All right, baby. Ain't no lifeboats, ain't no life jackets, ain't nothing. I ain't never seen nothing like this before. Okay. I have never seen somebody so publicly threaten an icon, like a superstar. Tamar Braxton is internationally known. The Braxton name is internationally known and respected. I've never seen somebody this cocky before. So if y'all have not heard yet, Krishan just went live on DJ Sky's live on Instagram. And baby had a lot to say, okay? She had a lot to say about Miss Tamar um, coming out. You know, she said that Tamar was trying to make her look bad. And she didn't appreciate that. And she said that she didn't care about Tamar's fake tears. And she said that Tamar better be safe because it's the thing about it bro so a lot of people take this baltimore shit man what's up fat boy i'm just saying like y'all know what the fuck y'all doing y'all know what the fuck y'all trying to do with me stop trying to act like it's me ig i'm only fucking with myself and my son straight up yeah and then when i nigga when i drop my account back i'm dropping nigga Oh. And I'm going to pop my shit on that verse, nigga. Fuck out of here. Y'all got me fucked up. Oh, you have my And it's cool. Oh, Gina. You try to embarrass me publicly like I deserve that. That's cool. That's oh real God. cool. That's real cool. Be safe. That's all I got to say. You over there fake crying. Be safe. Be safe. That fake crying ain't going to save you. Be safe. Straight up. Fuck is you talking about? Royal, let that stand up, though. Bitch ass nigga. Broke ass bitches. <laughs> fuck is you talking about? Yeah, like. Fuck, I don't even need an IG. I'm still trending. Fuck out of here. Somebody said, I'm glad I joined fuck this live. Fuck out of here. Fuck out of here. Yeah. I'm fucking my shit on the next well, stage. Atlanta. Fuck out of here. Fuck, you thought I got embarrassed right there? Oh, fat cool. boy. Hey, fat boy. And let's see if, let's see if, like, who, who the He's he's with us. Fuck, this shit weird. This shit got weird real quick. I took my Instagram off. Now everybody just saying anything. Okay, you saying, "Oh, Krishan, the house got invaded." We're all scared. Who? What? Why the fuck is y'all lying like that? Nobody fucking what? What? Thank you. Man. I'm just on live popping my shit because that's all I need. A live to pop my shit. Why? Because y'all gonna take this live and put it everywhere. Yeah, it's a public service announcement. PSA. Bitch. PSA to all the fucking hated ass bitches in the back, nigga. 
Fuck. I'll be back when I be back. But fuck y'all niggas. Straight up. You got she said that Tamar better be safe. She said those fake tears can't save her. And she, she better be safe. So, I'm going to just be for real. She That's a threat. That's an open threat. Okay? With the history Krishan has of violence, you know what I'm saying? Um, Assaulting people, getting other people to assault people, paying people to do things. Like, it's, it's, it, the list goes on. So, it's just like with the, the list, of, uh, 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 the rap sheet that baby girl got, I don't think that we can just take these kind of threats lightly and just let them roll off our shoulder like water, baby. We can't do that, okay? We gotta, we, we really gotta take her serious. So, honestly, to tell you the truth, you going to jail. Like, I don't know what else to say to you, sis. You going to jail. Like, you are on probation. Krishan Rock, you are on probation, girl. Okay? Your team that already told you to take down your social media and let this thing die out. You, first of all, DJ Sky, you are a horrible friend and she need to be beating your ass. Okay. In 10 years, when she look back at this moment and rewatch that video of you clapping for that bullshit, she gonna whoop your ass. Okay. That's what you get for being a pick me. You gonna get your ass by Krishan one day for that. Uh, yeah, but for you to already be in this hot water, for your team to already advise you to take down your social media, you waiting, cooling it, letting it chill out, letting it cool out, you know what I'm saying? Letting it, letting the shit die down. And which it ain't, but you know, letting it try to die down. Um, and then you come out with this. It's 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 like ruining all the work that, that that they're doing. I don't even know who the publicist is over there. I don't know who the manager is, but at this point, I don't know who the lawyer is, but y'all might want to just get the fuck out of there. No, no shade, baby. The house is about to go up in smoke. I think y'all might want to go uh take cover head for the hills. I don't know what to tell you. Cause it's about to be hell after this. You just sent an open threat on a public platform to a international superstar. Do you know what you just did, sis? Tamar Braxton is not your average around the way chick. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to give her too much, but at the same time, she not about to get in the street and tussle with you, Krishan. This ain't Zeus, Krishan. You're not on baddies, Krishan. Like, you cannot keep going around assaulting people. See, the only reason why you've been able to do that for the last few years is because when you do it, you got a team of Zeus security, a team of uh, 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 Lemuel's personnel or your personnel or Blueface personnel, whoever personnel around you to, to mediate the shit. Oh, she drunk, bro. She drunk. Let me get her out of here. Let's, let's do that. Krishan. This ain't Zeus. This is not a controlled environment. You are in the world. And people are not going to get in the street and tussle with you after they've seen you assault people violently. Tamar not no fighter, sis. Okay? People over 25 and definitely over 30 is not about to be fighting with you. They're going to lock your ass up. If somebody from Tamar's team has not already reached out to your probation officer, I'm pretty sure they're about to do that now. I'm pretty sure somebody from her team has called your probation officer or has reached out to the judge that is handling your case and is trying to get your ass put back in jail as we speak. I'm pretty sure her lawyers are filing paperwork as we speak. Why are you doing this? Why? I don't Get it? I don't understand. Why are you hell-bent on self-sabotaging yourself, baby? When there's so many people in the world that want to see you make it. This is not going to end well for you. There is no way in hell you get out of this unscathed. You have went too far. You have went too far down the motherfucking rabbit hole on this one, Krishan, baby. And the only way out of it is accountability and reprimand, sis, okay? There has to be re repercussions for your actions at this point. There is no other way around it. I just pray to God that the repercussions are not severe. I pray to God that, that you are not taken away from your child. I pray to God that you can see the light. I pray to God that somebody gets through to you. Jesus, if you are on her team, somebody please help this child. What the fuck are y'all doing? Help her. If you are her friend, if you love this girl, if you are within the arms reach of this child, shut her the fuck up. And DJ Sky, you ignorant heifer. I'm not going to call you the B word because I'm trying to get away from using it. But you ignorant ass heifer. That is supposed to be your best friend. You're supposed to have her best interest at heart. You're supposed to be that person who, when she can't see the forest for the trees, you're supposed to grab her and say, look, sis, that's the way to go. You in the background talking about what she said. It's up. It's up. You in the background egging the shit on. And you can't even fight. How the f*** you over here amping her up and you can't even fight. Knowing good and goddamn well, if it was to be a fight, you 
foot be over there, karate kick in the air. Sky, do better. I know you loving the clout. I know you loving the Kaisa, not lives that Krishan give you access to and all the celebrity events and the celebrity dick that Krishan give you access to, sis. Okay? But get your head out the clouds because what you're doing is detrimental to her mother health, her child's motherfucking welfare, and her life, and her criminal case at this point. Okay? That kind of behavior, Krishan, listen to me, sister. Baby sister, I'm 29. I ain't that much older than you, but listen to me, please. Everybody is not gonna fight you, boo. Somebody is gonna pick up a, a, a jump. I was gonna spell it, but fuck it. We here now. Somebody's gonna pick up a and hurt you, baby. Everybody on the world has seen you fight. Everybody in the world has seen you knock somebody's teeth down a goddamn throat. Everybody in the world has seen you beat a up in the sink. Everybody in the world has seen you lump a up on the couch. Everybody in the world know you are a hurricane on motherfucking wheel. You are hell on wheels, baby. Everybody knows that. So when they see you coming, you see a fight. They see the Terminator. Okay. And ain't nobody fighting the Terminator. Somebody's going to pick up a gun and put a bullet in your ass. And I pray to God that that don't happen. But I'm trying to warn you. Because people, this is not the world we live in. It, they, don't, we don't, they don't do that no more. Don't nobody get in the field, girl. This ain't the damn 2000s or the 90s. That is over and done with. This world is so crazy. You got people out here, uh, uh, sex People out here stealing organs. It's so much happening in the world now. You got so much police officers, people, girl, dirty politicians. It's so much happening now, Krishan. Schools getting shut up. Okay? Clubs getting, it's too much going on. People is scared. People are scared. That's why people love watching reality TV because we can watch all that crazy shit and it ain't got to be in our real life. But you trying to take some on the screen and bring it to the real life. Baby, Tamar not finna fight with you. She not gonna fight with you. And everybody in the world not gonna fight with you. Somebody gonna do you. Somebody gonna motherfucking give you what you looking for because you looking for a fight. You looking for a war. You looking for this big ass brawl. And baby, that's not how life works. That ends with a between your eyes in this world. When you go out constantly trying to fight people, let me tell you a story. I told this story on my live one day. I was very angry at one point, okay? And I ended up getting into a road rage one time because a, a, a big-ass bus tried to push me in the oncoming traffic. And I thought I was badass, so I pulled around and I saw the driver laughing. So I pulled up and blocked the bus and I got out and I went up to the driver's door and I started waving my hand in his face and yelling. That nigga grabbed my arm and broke that glass and yanked my arm back and forth and slipped my arm all up on that glass. Now, I was giving it to him with his right hand. Boom, 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 all up and through that window. But at the same time, I came looking for a fight. That man was not prepared to fight me. And then, as a result... I had deep gashes all down my arm. I could barely drive myself to the hospital. That day, I learned a lesson. Everybody in this world is not going to fight you. Everybody in this world is not going to go knuckle for knuckle with you. Somebody is going to hurt you. Somebody going to pull out a knife. Somebody going to pull out a can of mace. Somebody going to pull out a taser. Somebody going to pull out a gun. And it's going to be your end, baby. Think smart. You got a baby to be here for. You got fans to be here for. You are somebody in this world to a lot of motherfuckers. Okay? Don't let some temporary shit, this is a temporary situation, even your legal situation. It's all temporary, baby. It's all going to go away. Better days is on the horizon at the end of the day. The sun shall rise again. Don't let this dark moment determine your future. And don't let it determine your life. All right, that's all I got, baby. I love y'all so much. And I hope that everybody can take something from this video. Um, and that's all I got on it, baby. Bye.